Southeast Asian rainforests, such as those that reign the Malaysian region, are some of the oldest and most biologically diverse forests in the world. Malaysian rainforests are home to a vast diversity of plant and wildlife, including approximately 200 mammal species, over 600 species of birds, and 15,000 plant species. 35% of these plant species are found nowhere else in the world. Located in the northern part of Peninsula Malaysia, the thick forest of Ulumuda comprises vital ecosystems for the people of three northern Peninsula Malaysian states. The tropical rainforest of the Greater Ulumuda, covering around 1,500 km square, is where many adventure seekers come to experience lush nature escapades such as camping and jungle trekking. Wildlife such as elephants, deer, gibbons, and the rare Malayan tapirs are native to this forest. Ulumuda is also among the best spots in the region for bird watching, as it shelters 200 bird species including the red-crowned barbet, large red bubblers, hooded pita, and many species of magnificent hornbills. The flora in Ulumuda is very interesting because of its geographical position that explains the rarity of many of the species found in Malaysia. Many people, including Malaysians, are unaware that this forest also serves as the main water source for Kuda, Perlis, and Penang. Ulumuda's water provision is key for domestic use in most households to irrigate the paddy field and to fuel industrial activities in these states. Despite its economic and ecological significance, the faith of Ulumuda is at stake. Currently, Ulumuda is not legally protected as a conserved area. The rich jungle of Ulumuda are gazetted into five different forest reserves, with 65% of the area allocated for timber production, 32% for water catchment, and 3% for recreation, education, and research. Unfortunately, pressure from unsustainable logging threatens Ulumuda's ecological integrity and its capacity to continue providing valuable and essential ecosystem services in the long run. So, uh, in a nutshell, this water catchment is so important. Uh, without it, all three states will suffer. Uh, industry will suffer, irrigation, uh, paddy, paddy planting will not be possible. Uh, Penang will suffer because water supply, as well as, you know, uh, we also use water for industries. Um, if you look at it, uh, everything we use, we need water to produce. So, um, this catchment needs real protection because at the moment, it is only gazetted as a forest catchment, forest reserve, and a forest reserve. Although it is a forest reserve, but it doesn't have the legal kind of protection that is strong enough, uh, meaning that it can be easily degazetted. For almost a century, multiple attempts to save Ulumuda were made. Then in 2005, Ulumuda was recommended for gazetment as a state park as part of Kuda's draft structure plan and was identified as an environmental sensitive area rank 1 in the Malaysia's National Physical Plan or also known as NPP. NPP is a written statement that illustrates the strategic policies to determine the direction of physical development and conservation for all peninsula Malaysia. Nevertheless, none of the aforementioned efforts transpired even when many stakeholders were supporting the gazetman of Ulumuda as a protected area. Well, Ulumuda is one of the most important tropical rainforests in Southeast Asia. It's about 1,500 square kilometers of, of tropical rainforest with a lot of biodiversity and very important ecosystem services like water provision for people downstream. And at the moment, it's not very strongly protected. So then only about 30 plus percent of the forest is being protected. We think that it's very important to protect Ulumuda. And actually, I personally think that Ulumuda not being protected as of 2018, 2019, sorry, 
it is an anachronism. It's, it's kind of a, something that, that, that doesn't make sense nowadays. So we got together a project with some partners, uh, with the Watchpinang, to work for the protection of Ulumuda. There are many references, and I will go first within Malaysia. So in Malaysia, we saw the protection of uh, Royal Balloon State Park. We saw in Darwin Pin protection as well. And, and those things happened very recently. So then we, we have very, very vivid memory of how it was done. And I think Keda can do the same as, as uh, Perak, Pahang, or, or Johor did. Logging, fragmentation, and poaching are the main threats for the conservation of Ulumuda. The logging in the Ulumuda Forest Reserve is expected to be a major conservation setback. Well, I think I like to see Ulumuda to be a protected area. When I say protected area, that means under a strong legislation where it cannot be very difficult to change its status. Okay, that means you gazette the area as a certain Let's say as a national park or state park, it doesn't matter, but a protected area, gazetted by law, and but it's very difficult to degazette because otherwise some other people may come in and then you know want to degazette very easily. So I like to see it under a very strong law, and, and then where the water source is protected, that means the whole 163,000 hectares, um, and is properly managed uh, for biodiversity. Um, tourism can contribute to, to, to the area. Research has to be still ongoing. 163,000 hectares is a large place, okay? And it has to be properly zoned. That means this place, um, when it's gazetted, even before it's gazetted as a protected area, uh, some kind of management plan has to be prepared for this place. Because management plans is like the Holy Grail, okay, or the Quran or the Bible, where you seek seek advice from how to manage the area. Okay, so that piece of of document has to be put together. It's very very important. Before measures can be taken, we need to understand why Ulumuda's gazettement failed. Firstly, the jurisdiction conflicts between federal and state governments. The Malaysian constitution establishes that the state's main sources of revenue should be land-related matters, such as logging and mining. This might have been a good idea in the 1950s. However, in the 21st century, this model has become outdated. These natural resources represent a very small fraction of the overall Malaysian economy, but the lack of alternatives often push states to overexploit the forest for revenue. We need to find alternative ways to fund the states other than overexploiting our forest. Air dia dulu memang cantik. Dulu tengok tak ada benda yang paling cantik sekali air. Tapi sekarang tak seronoklah. Yang nelayan yang datang cari ikan pun banyaknya kuranglah. Kurang daripada dia orang datang tahun 90-an ah. Oh, 80-an tu masa tahun tu memang ikan seronok lah tengok tengah sekelah sebarau ataupun ikan kecil yang selalunya orang kat sini buat perkasam. Di Ulu Muda ni ada satu perkasam cakap satu benda yang tempat lain tak ada. Dia ada hot spring yang cantik. Ada tiga empat yang tak yang tak pernah orang sampai pun ada lagi. Hot spring yang tak pernah sampai kerana dia terlalu jauh. Benda tu masih netral. Binatang masih banyak. Tempat ni rasanya tempat lain tak ada. Kat Ulu Muda ni saja. Kalau nak ikut yang benda macam ni Kalau nak tengok gua pun bagi pak dia yang orang kata gua di sini cantik juga. Dia orang pernah pergi. Ya, yes. ada satu jenis spider yang 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 tempat lain tak ada kat sini. Yes. Ah, sini dia cantik dan tu. As in most conservation issues, there are many stakeholders involved in the protection of Ulumuda, including local communities near Ulumuda and downstream, local, federal and state governments environmental organizations, families who consume water, businesses, tourists, and anyone interested in nature. Understanding the values and interests of these stakeholders is important to develop a successful conservation strategy for Ulumuda's forests. Um, so Ulumuda is a very important forest um, which is hosting uh, high biodiversity and like um, endangered species that definitely need better protection 
And just an example, as we are studying the Agile Gibbons, we, um, we, we suspect that the population of Agile Gibbons in Ulumuda is actually probably the largest in whole of the mainland of Asia. So this is like something that's worth protecting. So putting the whole forest under a proper protection scheme, such as a state park, is definitely um, a very important step in order to not only preserve the forest and um, its important role in water catchment and providing you know, the different other states with clear water, but also to protect the biodiversity and endangered animals there, which um, maybe cannot be found in that um, abundance in other areas in Malaysia. 37.5 million tons of carbon is absorbed in the Ulumuda forest if the forest stays healthy and undisturbed. But if you destroy the forest, where does this carbon go? This carbon will all go back into the air. Especially when you burn the forest, you know, the chemical, you know, carbon, in terms of chemical, it will be transferred back into the air as a carbon dioxide. And you know, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, and it's the, actually the major greenhouse gas that's causing global warming. So forests actually perform a very, very vital function to capture this carbon dioxide. The stakeholders have gathered together to signify their principal positions in Ulumuda conservation. These ensured their common perceptions and attitudes towards the protection of Ulumuda Forest Reserve and, at the same time, to nurture awareness among the stakeholders and the public from the standpoint of education, outreach and advocacy towards saving the valuable forest reserve. I think it's about time that we realise the national heritage that we have um, and uh, Peninsular Malaysia is actually not second to any other area of, that is mega biodiverse because we have tigers, we have elephants, we have tapirs, you know, other places, other people from other places, from other countries travel all the way here just to see them and we should learn that this is something we should protect. We have to remember it's not just about wildlife, but it's also about protecting ourselves because we rely so much on the ecosystem services that forests like Ulumuda provide. I mean, everything that we have, everything that we come in contact with, everything that we touch actually comes from nature one way or another. So we've got to remember that some places are just very special and they should be kept that way. The forests of the Greater Ulumuda are of global significance for its biodiversity and ecosystem services. A true rainforest paradise. Water Watch Penang and the management and ecology of Malaysian elephants, or MIM, understand that future generations will be the ones paying the price if there are no efforts to preserve this precious piece of nature now. Forests tie everything together in Malaysia. We tend to overlook and do not appreciate them until they are gone. Ulumuda's wonderful forests have reigned here for tens of millions of years. As Sir David Attenborough once said, cherish the natural world because you are a part of it and you depend on it. That's why we are working to protect and conserve Ulumuda's forest. Because we do not only depend on Malaysia's rich ecosystems, we are part of them. Not only us, but also our future generations.